previous video, I introduced you to the idea of using concept equations, uh, which are basically a way of harnessing the power of language to help you develop and communicate your own ideas. In this video, I, we're going to have a look at the way you use language to help you develop those ideas into statements that you can then use as the basis for your written work. So your longer responses, your paragraphs, your essays, those kinds of things. Um, so we're looking here at what we might call topic or concept statements. All right, so let's just imagine um, that you've been studying a unit for a while and it's time to write a response. Your teacher wants you to write a paragraph or an essay, um, but you have no idea where to start. So what I'm going to show you is how to use concept equations to help you activate all that learning that you've been doing. So basically um, using the language again um, to help you make connections with what you've already learnt um, and also develop your ideas and develop new and interesting ideas and develop those ideas into more sophisticated responses. So this equation that I'm introducing here is um, something I call a concept statement equation. Um, it's pretty much like you can use this as a very systematic approach to getting started um, because and one of the good things about it is that it ensures that you always address the key concepts in a unit. So you use it for um, what I call the concept statement which is which is basically like which is the first sentence of a paragraph um, the topic sentence the statement or the point so in um, the T in teal or the P in peel or the S in steel and sexy. All right, so the way you do this, you start with the rubric. So the example I'm using is the area of the study, um, discovery. Um, from there, so you read through your rubric and you extract all the concepts and make a list of, uh, um, so in this case, you know, I've got, I haven't got all of them, but I've got a, a fairly hefty list there of the concepts that I've extracted from the rubric for the area of study discovery. Um, then you make a list of all the appropriate verbs that you might be using in your writing. Um, so then it's just a matter of taking those things and putting them together. So we take the concept, we take the verb, and then we add a second concept and you have a concept statement. So having a, a bit of a look at the way this works and using an example now, um, you've got concept one plus verb plus concept two equals concept statement. So you can see um, you can see on the left um, and also on the right I've got all the, the concepts from the unit. Um, and in the middle I've got the verbs and now it's just a matter of mixing and matching those. So the first one that we come up with is that concealments stimulate curiosity. Makes perfect sense if you hide something people generally try and find it. Find it. Um, the second one. Okay, assumptions limit understanding. Again it makes perfect sense. If you make assumptions they tend to prevent you from finding the truth. Um, and if you can't find the truth, then that's going to limit your understanding. Uh, finally, experiences provoke speculation. So pretty much when something happens to you, it makes you wonder about why it happened, for example, why it happened to you, uh, what might be the consequences of this particular experience, etc, etc. So you you can hopefully see now how simple this little process is. But quite often three words um, isn't isn't quite enough. It can work sometimes and if and it's a nice way of um, adding some variety to the way that you've started your paragraphs, but you need to be able to write longer sentences as well. So to turn a statement equation into a well-developed sentence, you just need to probe for some detail. So um, we've got experiences provoke speculation. Um, so we find the detail in the concepts. 
So you ask the relevant concept, relevant question to each of the concepts. So you've got experiences. Well, the question is what kind of experiences? And speculation is about what. Once you've got the answer, um, that pretty much gives you the detail you need to f flesh out a sentence. So you can see here, um, what kind of experiences? Unexpected experiences. Um, a speculation about what? About the possibility of new discoveries. So that gives us the statement, unexpected experiences provoke speculation about the possibility of new discoveries. To me, that sounds like a good a good statement. Um, it sounds like something that a reader is going to be engaged by. They're going to their their curiosity is going to be piqued. Um, they're going to want to find out a little bit more about what you've got to say. So then, if you're happy with the statement, um, you obviously then need to test that against um, the text you're studying and find some evidence to prove it. Now, you'll often need to do a number of these to get it right. Um, but there's nothing wrong with that because in going through this process you're improving your knowledge of the text and your understanding of the relationship between the concepts within the unit. Um, I often recommend writing three to five and then choosing the best. Um, there are plenty of other little tricks and, and tweaks and remixes um, for your statements but I'll take you through those in other videos. Um, finally, um, you can also use this same process to get started on developing a thesis statement for your entire essay. Hopefully now you can go away and use this same process to start to write um, some really powerful concept statements that you can use in your own writing.